check whether 6 raised to n can end with the digit 0 for any natural number n. Okay. Number ending with digit 0 in the world. Let's take a few examples. 20, 450, 6, 1780, etc. These numbers ending with digit 0. Means, this unit's digit is 0. So, we can say that a number ending with digit 0 means that the unit's digit is 0. Okay. Now, we will say these numbers 20 is 2 into 10. That is 415 is 45 into 10. 6780 is 678 into 10. That is, numbers ending with digit 0 that number should be divisible by 10. 10 is divisible. Okay. 10 is equal to 2 into 5. Number should be divisible by 10. Number should be divisible by 2 and 5. That is, these numbers in the prime factorization. 2 and 5 in the prime numbers in diarikinam. Okay. Angin the numbers alam divisible by 10 narikim. So our numbers alam ending with digit 0 narikim. So the first point and then any number ending with digit 0 is divisible by 10 and so its prime factorization must contain the prime numbers 2 and 5. Okay. Now we will find out the end of this. Whether 6 raised to n can end with digit 0. Okay. And number ending with digit 0 under condition we get it. But 6 raised to n, 6 raised to n, n with digit 0 anangile, that is the prime factorization le 2 and 5 and the prime numbers in diarikina. So e condition satisfy chain and no ka. 6. 6 is equal to 2 into 3. But 6 is prime numbers in the kyane 2 and 3 one. So, 6 raised to n is equal to 2 into 3 whole raised to n. 6 raised to n is the prime factors in the kyan 2 and 3. Yana. Okay, and the uniqueness of fundamental theorem of arithmetic guarantees that there are no other prime in the factorization of 6 raised to n. So, this is the second point. Okay, and the first point le tende, for a number to be n with digit 0. It should satisfy this condition. Like, and then, that number should be divisible by 10. That is the prime factorization. Le, prime numbers 2 and 5. Like, but here the prime numbers are 2 and 3. Yana. Here 2 and 3 are the prime factors of 6 raised to n. Like, that is 5 is not in the prime factorization of 6 raised to n implies 6 raised to n is not divisible by 5. Okay. This implies 6 raised to n is not divisible by 10. 6 raised to n is not divisible by 10. That is the first condition that is satisfied. Condition satisfied. 6 raised to n is not divisible by value. 6 raised to n is the number n with digit 0. So, there is no value of n in natural number for which 6 raised to n ends with digit 0.